Hey guys, what is up? I hope everybody has been having a great day. I figured today I'd show you guys my record breaking set from the 2019 Absolutely Tennessee Bay Shots, give you all an idea of what I was thinking as it was happening, as well as provide some context to it. Please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want more content like this in the future. Even though the sport isn't on TV right now, we are still holding events. So what I want to do is film my sets and then edit the track my numbers and shot tracers into them after the fact and commentate on them, much like this video. If we get 5,000 likes on this video, I will make sure that I start putting those videos up on my channel. I definitely want to do them. I hope you guys want me to do them because I think it would be a really unique thing to do. And um, I think everyone would really enjoy it. So with that being said, let's hop into this video. So this is the semifinals, and I'm facing Justin James. He went 390 on his set. He's already hit all of his eight balls, so I'm currently chasing that. This is my first tournament I was competing in as a number one ranked player in the world. I did ascend to the top rank in the tournament before this in Rochester. So I was trying to win two tournaments in a row, and Justin had a pretty good number. 390 was definitely a solid number. Anything into the 390s was winning sets pretty often that day. Um, I believe I hit one about 388 to win my quarterfinal set. So it kind of gives you an idea. Um, going into this fourth ball, I was definitely still very comfortable. Um, the 385 ball, while it was short, I did not hit it good at all. Like, I one-handed it, as you guys saw earlier. And to be within five yards, I was feeling pretty strong. Um, and I do remember just being so comfortable. Even though, you know, time was winding down, I had only four balls left. And this was just such a fun tournament because I was so fast this entire so tournament. Just a year ago. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can see already 227 ball speed. Just to give you guys context, as, as of this, as the recording of this tournament, the world record ball speed on the day I was competing was 227 miles an hour. So that was, in the time, that tied the world record. And so I knew I was going crazy fast, but I really was trying to make sure that I squared it up. Just 22 and years. Here's actually where I set the record here at 228. So that's the first time there was ever a 228 mile an hour recorded ball speed in competition. And, and to this day, it still is the fastest recorded ball speed ever captured on live television. Um, so you can see I pushed that one out to the right a bit. And again, I'm just trying to really steady myself and um, hit a really quality shot here. A little bit high in the face, but... Still 224 ball speed, only 2300 spin, and this lands at about 395, and you can see it bounced just right at the car path. I thought that was in, but there was a little bit of a wind pushing the ball out to the right, and I kind of remembered that in this last swing, so I was like, I just don't want to be there. late on it. And, now and so I really let it go and turn it over, and this is the one you guys are probably are familiar with, the 228 mile an hour one. I'm, I'm not sure many people realize, actually went 228 earlier in the set, but um, it turned over just barely enough. It landed less than two yards in bounds, and I was able to hit it past him and go 398, which, inter interestingly enough, was the exact yardage I um, hit it to advance to the finals in the tournament the year before this in Tennessee. So, yeah, that was a ton of fun. My heart rate was over 200 beats per minute. It was about, I think it was 202, I think, something like that, and it was just a blur. I mean, really, I was... it. It was almost just like you can see Jerry Fultz there kind of sheepishly grinning. But it was, yeah, it was um, absolutely incredible. Probably one of the best shots I've hit in my career. It was a ton of fun. And, yeah, you, you really just got to let it go. And that's kind of what I did and squared it up. Definitely didn't hold too much back. And that was a lot of fun. Um, and I went on to win in the uh, finals and hit it. I think I hit it 409 in the finals. So it was a ton of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.